All right, so now that we have the parameters written down, let's go in and after the parameters, let's, um, let's write down all the weights and the biases. Okay, weights and biases. So, writer dot write start element uh, weights. And element, and this is weights. Okay, um, now we're going to do this just like we do when we're creating the thing. We're going to go through each layer. For each node in that layer, we're going to write down its index. We know where in the network it belongs, its bias. And then for each node in the previous layer, we're going to write down an axon element, right, a connection to another neuron um, with its index and the weight that connects the two, okay? So let's go through each layer for int l equals zero, l is less than layer count l plus plus. Um, I want to writer dot write start element uh, for layer. Okay, so this will tell us which layer we're on. Right, end element. So that closes layer. Um, I'd like to add an attribute. So let's write attribute string. This is going to be the index. So L right to string so that way I can look at it and know without a shadow of a doubt I'm looking at layer L um, okay so now let's go through each node in this layer so for int j equals 0 j is less than layer size of L j plus plus now for each node here let's create a node element so let's write start element node writer dot write and element that closes off the node and just like uh, our layers we're going to need an index so let's write attribute string index and this is going to be j to string all right um, and actually, let's go ahead and add this as an attribute. Um, each node in the current layer has precisely one bias value. So rather than adding that as a sub element, which is where I just want to store all of the connections to the previous layer, I'm just going to put it right here at this node level um, as an attribute. So let's write attribute string bias. And this is going to be bias of J to string. All right. So that is everything about this node except its weights connecting it to all of the nodes in the previous layer. So I'd like to go through all of the nodes in the previous layer. So let's make another for loop. Int i, I is less than, well, it depends. Um, if L, sorry, if L equals zero, then I need to go through everything in the input layer. Otherwise, uh, layer size of the L minus first layer. Okay. I plus plus. And so for each one of these, we're going to add an axon element. So writer dot write start element axon. Writer dot write and element axon. Okay, now each axon will have an index. Writer dot write attribute string index, and this will be i to string. Okay, and it will have. So now that we've already opened this element, um, we need to write just 
the inside the inner value of the element, the text value, and that's done like this: writer dot write string. Um, we're gonna need the weight for layer L from node I to node J as a string to string. Okay, so this write string um, does somewhere up here. Okay, so write element string. If you look at this, what this did is it created an element, right, that had element name, name, and then inside of that element, it added a string node that just had the string, whichever, whatever the value of node was, or sorry, name, right? So that is like this guy right here. Okay, so now all we did down here is we broke that down into two steps. We wrote the start element, accent, um, which we needed to do so we could write this attribute for index into it. Then we added the string portion, which was just the weight that connects it, and then we shut it. Okay, so if we didn't need this index right here, we could have just done another write element. Um, and that's it. So that is every layer, every node, every connection. There's our weights. And that is that. So let's save that. Let's go back to our program and run this one more time. Okay, it didn't freak out. So let's open this back up, click refresh. And there it is. Uh-oh, we have a problem here. System dot double array. Oh, sorry, what happened here, you'll see this is the type uh, that came through. Let me minimize that. Go back to our neural network. What I did is I put in bias of J, uh, but I forgot to specify which layer. Bias of L node J to string. Okay, so let's try that again. Go back, F5, it runs. Let's bring up our save file, refresh. There we go. All right, so that's it. Um, that's our parameter node, uh, which we already knew about. This defines the name, the input size, number of layers, the type of layer, number of nodes on that layer, etc. So when we load it, we will actually parse the parameters node first. That way we can, um, I guess, instantiate all of the arrays to the correct size um, and and dimension and then we're going to after that's done parse the weights node and go through every layer right by index go through every node go through every connection and set all of the weight values okay so uh, Let's say here, so if you recall, this was a, uh, this is a one, two, one network, one input, two nodes in the hidden layer, one output. If we go back to here, you can say uh, layer zero, right? That's our hidden layer, has two nodes, okay? Layer one, that's our output layer, has one node, right? Index beginning at zero. Um, for the hidden layer, the first node has uh, a bias given by this number and it should be connected to exactly one node in the previous layer, which it is, right? This is the one node in the input layer. So axon connected to node zero in the input layer with weight 0.52971, blah, blah, blah. Similarly, the second node in the hidden layer has its own bias and is connected to precisely that first node with this weight, okay? Um, now the second layer is more interesting I'm sorry, second layer, meaning the output layer in this case, has only one node, which has its bias right here, um, but is connected to the two nodes in the previous layer, the hidden layer. So axon index zero, right? This connects this node, right? This first node in the output layer to the first node in the hidden layer with this weight. Similarly, it's connected to the second node with this weight right here. All right, so that's it. This is a very small network, um, so this is a very short XML, but now once I've trained a network, I can save it, um, and then we will, right now, we will develop a load method, which will open up this XML and parse it, and that way you train a network once, you open it, and it's it already knows what to do, then you can use the network for something.
Okay, so that is coming up next.